is another thing we find out too. We find out when we look at the stars that are furthest away, we're looking at the stars that were longest ago. Is that true? Yes. Takes time for a light to come from those stars, doesn't it? So the ones that are furthest away, when you look at it, say, oh, there's a star right now. You're not looking at the star right now. You're seeing the star as it was. Maybe light, you know, many, light years away. You know, years and years away, huh? Before you were born, before the sun's here even. You know, what's the sun? The sun's a new one, isn't it? There's plenty of stars out there older than the sun. Okay? And the light that emits from them, boom, gets to you now. So when we look at the stars that are furthest away, we find out that they are going faster than the ones not so far away. Which means a long time ago, everything was going fast. <coughs> and then it's now slowing down. We find the whole universe expanding, but slowing down. Now, it might mean that it's going up. <laughs> now, what slows it down? Let's look at it. Let's oversimplify the whole thing. Here's the Big Bang. Okay. And pieces fly out. Here's one piece. Here's the other piece. I'll break the whole universe up into four hunks. Okay. It's sort of oversimplifying, all right? Now, this hunk is flying out like that, out like that. They're all flying away from where they blew up. This piece of matter is being gravitationally attracted to which one? This one, this one, and this one. And when you combine all those poles, what's the resulting direction? Right to the center. So this one is moving out against gravity, so it slows down. This one's moving against gravity, so it slows down, slows down, slows down. So it's consistent with the gravity theory that everything blowing up would slow down, slow down, slow down. Now, it has a couple of fates, at least. One is that these pieces are going so fast, <coughs> they're going at escape velocity for the universe, and just keep going, 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 and that's it. One universe. There's another school of thought that says, hey, these pieces going out are not going at escape velocity. There's enough matter in the universe such that they finally slow, 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 come momentarily to a stop. Now, what slowed them down? Gravity. What's gravity going to do now? Pull them back and and presumably to just gush right through and do it again and again and again. Okay, and that's called that's called the oscillating theory of the universe, that the whole universe just pulsates like that. Theory has it, the time for one cycle is about 80 billion years or so, about 80 billion years, okay? So it might be that every 80 billion years, the whole thing occurs, recurs, recurs over and over again. See, so we start off Big Bang, 40 billion years are out here, come back in 40 billion years, and we don't call it the Big Bang, we call it the Big crunch or squish, yeah, okay, the big crunch. And then if it just goes out the other side, how about you save all your diaries and everything in a real neat place for the big crunch, huh? Save all your writing, save all your ideas, all your photo albums. What kind of a container are you going to put them in? What's going to happen to everything during the big crunch? <laughs> right back down to the little particles that make up matter. And all that stuff just spew out all again. Maybe the laws of physics still hold, huh? The things gravitate each other, spin around, galaxies form, they heat up, suns are born, boom, before you know people are doing things like making the hands go like this and taking notes and that sort of thing. Maybe the thing just keeps happening over and over and over again. And the thing is, it seems that there's no way to make any record of any one cycle. It seems everything is wiped out. And you start out, boom, with a clean slate and over and over it goes. Or it might not be that way at all. You know, when you look at that, when you look at that, that's a really, a really a cosmic perspective, isn't it? When you think about where we are, where we've been, where we're going. Let's suppose we drew a graph of the whole process. I'll just draw the graph here. Here's the time of the Big Bang. Here's 40 billion years. Big crunch. Okay. Now, where are we in this thing right now? We're about here. Where were we in this scheme when we found out that we could make fire by ourselves by rubbing things together? Here we are now. 
Wasn't that time about here? Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, we discovered fire, and now here we are here. Right here, we can do an awful lot more than we could do here. Our health is better. Most of us live for a longer time. And we're quite a bit more comfortable here than we were here. And I think we're probably a lot better to our neighbors, too. We've grown. Human race is growing up. Let me ask you a question. What will it be like? What will our capabilities be? How will we regard each other? How will things be when we get to here? <laughs> different, different, different. I tell you what, we're back here now. Let's suppose I tell you to make a list of all the things that a human being can't do. You know, we're just human. We can't read each other's minds. We can't live for more than 100 years on the average. We can't even get out of the whole solar system yet. You know? We can't be in more place than, the, than, than at one place at a time. There's a whole lot of things we can't do, right? Because we're only human. Make a list of all those things that we can't do. Put them in a drawer. And then, when the human condition gets to here, People are going to find your writings in the drawer, and what are they going to say? Oh, how limited. Didn't they realize that they were growing all the time? Maybe we could get right up to where we could be like maybe super beings, way beyond what we can ever comprehend now. If that's the case, what does it mean now? To my mind, it means we have a tremendous responsibility. And that responsibility is to just keep the show going. Just keep it going, honeys. Don't blow it up now. Because when we get to here, who, we may become who knows what. Think about that. Who knows what? Mm. Peace.